Hi, I'm Eliana Sellers, and we're back here for the third episode of The Book Nook, where I will be reviewing A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. Fitzamobi is the main character, and she is reopening a cold case for her capstone project, which she is doing in her senior year of high school, um, about a murder that included Sal Sang, allegedly killed his girlfriend at the time, Andy Bell. Now, she, throughout the book, has several different main suspects and I could not figure out which one actually did it. Helping Pip is the brother of the alleged murderer Ravi who there is some romance between the two main characters but not so much that it overtakes the plot of the book um, and you can easily identify with either Pip or Ravi throughout the book where Pip is very book smart. She is applying to Columbia after her senior year and she is just this overwhelmingly intelligent character. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, I would have to say, is the perfect murder mystery if you're ever in the mood for suspense until the very, very end. And then at the very end, it kind of like lays out how the culprit did it and how they got away with it and how they carried it out throughout the years. Um, overall, there were very good characters. Like I said before, Pip was this intelligent, book-smart character. Bravi Singh, who is Pip's partner throughout the whole investigation, is her counterpart. He is very hardworking. He is very loyal. But yet he's hardened by the town, who has treated him like an outcast since Sal Singh died and allegedly killed his girlfriend, Andy Bell. The book, it switches between her entries of her capstone project and how she's developing that and the actual process and what's happening. Now the capstone entries, she includes many pictures and maps of what actually happened and what she picks up along the way. Now the book included a non-stereotypical integrated family where Pip's mother remarried to her stepfather who later adopted her. Now that happened early in Pip's life so Throughout the book, she just refers to him as dad, which I thought was very cool. And then she treats her half-brother truly like her own. Now, overall, this is definitely a book I would read again, so I'm going to give it a four out of five stars. There is witty banter, there is amazing character development, and overall, it is just a great book. Next week, we will be reviewing The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. So, have a great week.